Hi everyone, in this video we're going to convert spherical equations to rectangular equations. Um, so the formulas we will use are the following. So x is equal to rho sine phi cosine theta. y also has the rho sine phi, so very easy to uh, memorize, sine theta. It's kind of like the uh, uh, polar, right? r cosine theta, r sine theta. It's the same thing, rho sine phi is actually r from cylindrical or from polar. So z equals rho cosine phi. Right, these are the same, so very easy to memorize, right? Reminiscent of r cosine theta and r sine theta. So, all right, um, I think that should be good. Um, there are some more formulas. Maybe I'll, I'll write them here in case we need them, but rho squared is equal to x squared uh, plus y squared plus z squared. Also, the tangent of theta is equal to y over x. And last but not least, I don't think we'll need this one, but I'll write it out. Phi is equal to the arc, arc cosine, arc cosine of um, z over the square root, okay, the square root of x squared plus y squared plus z squared. All right, so these are the formulas, and, you know, it's important to have these on hand uh, when you're tackling problems like this, right? It's very, very important to have them. So the first example will be rho equals 9. This is simply a sphere uh, in spherical coordinates. Very beautiful stuff, right? So a simple, simple equation that describes a sphere. We want to convert this to rectangular. So I guess we have to use this formula here. So we'll start by squaring both sides of our equation. So rho squared is equal to 9 squared. Right, rho squared is equal to 9 squared. Then we know rho squared is x squared plus y squared plus z squared. And that's equal to 9 squared, which is 81. And then this is the equation of a sphere in rectangular coordinates. So uh, beautiful stuff. This is why spherical is so amazingly beautiful, right? I mean, this is just wow, right? That's a sphere. Rho equals 9 is a sphere. Done. Very, very, very simple. Let's do another one. So B. Uh, this one looks harder, so I haven't done it yet. So rho equals 9, okay, cosecant, already it's harder, phi, and then we have secant theta, okay? So we have to convert this uh, to rectangular, right, to rectangular. So let me think here, let's think. Okay, I have an idea. So here we have cosecant and secant, right? But in these formulas, we only have sine and cosine. So maybe we can start um, by dividing by cosecant and secant. So when we do that, we would get rho over cosecant phi, secant theta equals 9. So that's a good first step, right? Just dividing both sides by this. And I did that so we can rewrite this. So you can write this as 1 over cosecant phi. I'm going to show some extra steps. 1 over secant theta times rho equals 9. So it's exactly the same thing, right? Because cosecant phi times secant theta, it's right here on the bottom. Um, 1 over cosecant, well, the reciprocal of cosecant is a sine, right? It's the one that starts with the other letter. So this is sine phi. There's no equal sign there. So sine phi, and then the reciprocal of sine is cosine theta, and then we have the rho, and that's equal to 9. Let me write this in a more convenient way. This is rho sine phi cosine theta, just rewriting it, putting the rho in front, and that's equal to 9. And I think this is something here. Yes, yes it is. Oh, that's beautiful. That's x. x equals 9. So that's it. It's just a plane. It's just the equation of a plane. So I hope this uh, video has been helpful. That's it.